Beers of the Week. Uh, I'm Aaron Bush, manager of Beertopia. And I'm Chris Patini, one of the bartenders down here on Beer Corner USA. And today we're going to do an episode right here from Beertopia of some more new beers that have been rolling in the store. It's that time of year when lots of new goodies are coming in. Absolutely. This is the, the time to drink. If you're a craft beer drinker, this is, uh, this is the godsend months. <laughs> <laughs> Our first beer is the Double Chocolate Stout from Rogue Ales out of Newport, Oregon. This brewery was founded in 1989 and comes in at 9% ABV. Our first beer today is Rogue's Double Chocolate Stout brewed out of Newport, Oregon. Uh, the brewery's been around for some time. Uh, John Mayer is a, a mastermind of brewing, uh, and this is one Ooh. of his wonderful elixirs. Look at that, nice yeah. and just inky black. Right. Now, if, you've, if, if, if you've watched any of our other videos, you know that I'm kind of a stout freak. Um, and Chris asked wow, me... Wow, I can smell the chocolate yeah. from here. Chris Chris asked me what I want to do this week, and, well, the stouts. Um, it's, that, it's that time of year, like I said before. It's that time of year for heavy and bold and bodacious. And, and I, I said, let's go with the big beers, because I like big, flavorful, right. intense beers. So we're right up our alley. So as you can tell, a big mocha head. Oh, man. Uh, it smells like like dark dark Dutch chocolate, that uh, just almost like hot cocoa in a way kind of chocolate. I get a little just a hint of cinnamon. Oh, that's nice. It uh, it's got a nice sweetness to the beer, and but yet uh, the the bitterness to me comes more from that chocolate. Now, do they put oh. real chocolate in this? Okay, so this isn't just this, from chocolate malts. As far as I know, this is brewed with real chocolate. Heavy chocolate. Wow. Boy, this is a... Uh, the bitterness is nice, but the sweetness comes through. Mm -hmm. Nice carbonation. Perfect carbonation. Got that nice kind of warming feeling to the yeah. belly from that big beer. Yeah, this beer will age for some time. I've got a couple of bottles from last year that I've kept over aging, and uh, I had one a couple of weeks ago. And, and if you're going to do the <coughs> aging, nice thing with the red painted bottle, it's going to protect it from the light as right. you're aging it exactly. well. So the only thing this beer might need other than just another taste. Mm -hmm. Big scoop of vanilla ice cream in it. Right. Mm. Thanks, Rogue. Mm -hmm. This is good. Good dessert for the first roll. Absolutely. The second beer today is Mountain Standard Double Black IPA from Odell's Brewing Company. The brewery is in Fort Collins, Colorado. Was founded in 1989, and this beer is a nine and a half percent alcohol. The next beer we're going to do is from Odell's Brewing Company out of Fort Collins, and it's their Mountain Standard Black IPA. A uh, little different this year. If you remember from the past when they bring this beer out, it was in the big uh, Bombers, now part of their four-pack series. So should be available about six months out of the year now. So um, the Mercenary came out, the Double Pilsner came out, and now the Mountain Standard uh, Double Black IPA. This is a favorite of mine. I'm always excited when this beer comes back every year. Um, probably one of the beers that turned me on to the black IPA style. So if it's not any different than last year, and it's it's not. Right. If your eyes are closed, all you smell is Imperial IPA. Big, hoppy, got that real earthy hop smell to it. Oh, that's good. Wow, that's hoppy. <laughs> that's, oh, that's, that's so good. good. I get all that nice dark roast. I mean, yeah, it's a dark beer, so that dark malt comes through. And you get that, just that nice bitterness from the malt along with the bitterness from the hops. That's, oh, that's about as fresh as it gets right there. That's good beer. Mm -hmm. uh, not only available in the four packs over here in Beertopia, but we have recently tapped a couple of kegs for over in the Crescent Moon. So uh, this is a beer I've been enjoying over there as well. That's a sipper. Oh, yeah. But I want more. <laughs> oh man guys Odell's another solid beer from you thank you very much absolutely. come and see Aaron get some of this stuff because it's yeah. good you won't be disappointed cheers mm -hmm. our last beer of the day is Big Eddie Russian Imperial Stout this is coming from the seventh oldest brewery in the U.S. Jacob Leinenkugel Brewing Company located in Chippewa Falls Wisconsin they were founded in 1867 and this beer comes in at a whopping 9.5% ABV. The third beer of today, uh, Chris is going to crack open a Big Eddie. 
Uh, this is a Russian Imperial Stout from Leinen Kugels. I'm really kind of excited to try this beer. It's Leinen Kugels. This it's, is something very different. From sure, them. kind of out of the norm, which is fine. They do good beers, and you know, their uh, their standard beers are very good. But uh, this is a very anticipated, inky black Russian Imperial Stout. I mean, this is a different style for what they normally do. Right. Oh, am I gonna? Uh oh. <laughs> yeah. You're eating crayfish. Suck the head. Smell a little booze. I like that. Yeah, it's a it's definitely a big yeah. stout. Uh, named Big Eddie after the Big Eddie Spring, where they get their water from. This is uh, have you even noticed from the box? Uh, this is a beer that is wow their Brewers Reserve line, if you will. This is this is something new, big and bold from Line and Kugels. And if you're like us who like big bold beers, right. this is awesome. So and we're Chris and I are drinking this about 55 degrees. Um, some of the optimal temperature. I tell people that start it off cold, let it sit for a little bit, kind of mellow. Give it, you know, if you, I tell people if you're drinking a big beer like this, nine and a half, ten percent. If you drink this in less than a half an hour, you really went too fast. Enjoy the beer all the way through from chilled to the refrigerator chilled to, wow. you know, hand chill 55, 60 degrees. This is a great representation of a Russian Imperial Stout. You got all that big flavor. You got that big mouthy um, sweetness and, and uh, the carbonation, but it's still got that bitterness from it. Just, the, and the hops, I definitely taste the hops, but that's a good thing. Available in the four packs over here in Beertopia. It's also coming before too long on draft in the Crescent Moon. Right, so right. Uh, definitely keep an eye out for it, and we'll see you soon. Yep. Yeah. Cheers. Again, folks, thanks for joining us on Beers of the Week uh, with, with Chris and I. Um, good week. Dark yeah. beers. Hello, darkness, right. wild friend. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, come to the dark side. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Three solid uh, new arrivals in Beertopia. The Rogue, the Mountain Standard from Odell's, and the Big Eddie's Russian Imperial Stout. And I should say the Rogue Double Chocolate Double Stout. Double Chocolate, yeah. Uh, wow, great beers. Like always, guys, come over to Beertopia. See Aaron. He'll hook you up with these. Uh, stop by the bar, pick up a pint of Mountain Standard. Uh, Big Eddie is coming soon as well. Yep. And, and I'm going to sound like a broken record one more time. Go to the website, www.beercornerusa.com. Sign up for that free e-newsletter. Figure out what's going on down here every week uh, from parties, events, beer tastings, in stores. You've had a couple of those lately. In the, yep. you know, come in on an afternoon and drink some beers. Right. And, uh, and go to the Facebook. we got them for all the bars. Stay in touch with us so we can make sure to keep you informed with everything going on in the world of good beer. But until next week, well, you got something to say? No, that, well, like, like Chris was saying, the, the tastings we're going on, we're do, we try and do tastings here in Beertopia through the month of November and December uh, on Fridays. So I've got lots of stuff scheduled for Fridays uh, afternoons, 4.30 to 6.30, free tastings. Check that email. Um, like Chris said, you know, you'll find postings of what we're doing, uh, what beer reps are going to be here. Uh, I've got some brewery reps coming lined up from Tallgrass and Boulevard and and possibly Odell's. So, I you know, we want you guys to be informed. So check out that e newsletter. Uh, Facebook will be Chris and I'll be posting on Facebook too. So come hang it's out beery, with us. We got our finger on it. That's right. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks, guys. Heaven. Uh